Hello, so this is war report for war number eight of the season 31. So I recently took um, the hood to rank three. Um, indeed, uh, I thought uh, if I'm going to bring the hood for the synergy with Kingpin, it's better that I use him, you know. Um, I like Black Widow Clairvoyant when I need to nullify buffs. But when you think about it, the hood kind of play the same role, can kind of plays the same role. So it makes sense like to use him if I'm bringing him anyway. And um, I thought, uh, yeah, let's let's take him to to rank three and and get some use out of him. Uh, so the reason why I was bringing the hood originally is because, um, as you you heard, and you. Sh- probably know um, he the synergy allows uh, Kingpin to shrugs debuff quite easily and this means that um, this champ is very good for path 9 in war um, the hood actually also benefits from Kingpin quite a lot because you see like uh, on the screen it has more uh, invisibility duration which is quite good and also there is like a, a series of buffs, you know, like you see like more armor rating, critical rating, health, etc, etc. Critical rating is good for the hood because uh, each time he crits, he puts a stagger on the opponent. So when you get more critical rating, this means that you will nullify buffs more easily, which means, uh, yeah more survivability probably and also more damage because each time you nullify a buff I think the opponent gets damage okay and also crit rating is not a bad thing so I think uh, uh, with this amount of rating we are close to spider ham level of critical rating which is not bad either uh, critting means more damage too okay so that's the the, the synergy uh, the three champs I have here are villains, which means that uh, all of them benefit from the synergy, so it's good anyway. Uh, Magneto also benefits from a synergy with uh, Kingpin. Unfortunately, it's only against hero champs, which will not uh, play a role uh, in this war because I don't think I'm fighting a hero champs. But anyway, Magneto also is good for Path 9 in Section 2 because he regens out of bleed and shocks. Um, meaning it's great, you know. <laughs> you you not only receive, uh, you're not only immune to damage <laughs> with the willpower uh, mastery. You can you can regen out of these debuffs. Okay, so I thought I would bring these uh, three champs together. Uh, the synergy aren't bad, and I wanted to try the hood on uh, something easy. So you will see in section one I take path eight which has only one champ, which is Venom. And uh, I thought, yeah, a nullified, champs, a nullified champ against Venom, is it, it sounds good. So the first fight you will see will be against Venom with the hood, because I wanted to, to try him, you know. Um, it went well. I think I would have played better in the sense that um, I realized that I could have thrown my heavy attack uh, earlier. You know, because the way hood works, each time you 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 do a medium attack, you put a hex on the opponent, and the opponent accumulates hexes, and when you heavy, uh, basically all the hexes go away and you do a, a big amount of damage. So I threw a heavy, but like at the very end of the fight, just for the sake of it, but I should have thrown the heavy a bit earlier. And then section two, I took. Path 9, so first there is like the Stun Reflect node, mini boss. Um, I took Kingpin against uh, Spider Ham on this node, it went well. And then you will see a fight against um, uh, Terax. It went okay, it could have gone better, but I didn't die. Then there is a Guillotine 99, I took Magneto against Guillotine. And finally, in the boss circle, it's um, the poison bleed node. There was like a killmonger on the node, and I 
did it with the kingpin. In the end, it went well. We won the war. Only five fights, but uh, I mean, it's um, it's good to contribute anyway. Well, so here I leave you with the fights. Thanks for watching, guys. <laughs>